Hi, this video is about OpenAI's new computer use agent, CUA as they're calling it. Um, and uh, this is a, a, a response, I think, to probably to what Anthropic is doing with their computer use. And um, I've spent several hours testing this from a variety of different angles. And I'm going to show you what I found in this video. I think some of the results you'll see are uh, going to be pretty surprising. So if we scroll down here, and I'll put a link to this in the description. They have a computer use here. Uh, and actually, if you go to, I'll put a link to this as well to the guide, um, they show basically how it works. And essentially what it's doing is it's taking a screenshot of the computer environment, it's sending it to their model, their CUA, their, their computer use agent model, and then it, the model is responding with instructions. And then we have to build the application code to actually execute on those instructions. Um, and, then, and then it rinses and repeats. This is actually incredibly challenging, and you'll see why in a second. And um, in general, you'll see kind of what some of the issues are with this. Now, they do have a few different ways you can do it. You can do it via Docker um, or, or setting up a local environment. Um, I went ahead and did the local browsing environment. It's technically a little bit less secure, but uh, we're, we're not doing anything any, anything fancy here. So uh, this is what was, was able to get it working uh, faster with the um, with the local environment using essentially Playwright, which is a an, a, uh, a browser automation uh, tool. So, uh, and again, uh, being able to automate within the browser is less impressive than automating outside of, uh, of the browser. Uh, there's another plugin called Browser Use, or it's not a plugin, it's a, it's a library, open source library. It does a very terrible job of, of automating browser use. So I was, I was hopeful that this would do a better job, but it's doing less than what um, Claude uh, computer use is able to do. Uh, and it's quite a bit more set up than using Claude computer use. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, it's just, I've got a script called b.py. There's a reason for that, but we'll just leave it at that. And so what we can do is we can give it some instructions and you'll see what will happen. So we're just gonna do um, fine awesome stylish basketball shoes on amazon.com and we're going to have it start at amazon.com all right so it's popped up a window and amazon immediately recognizes this as an automation and actually sometimes it's a there we go so you saw the red where it clicked actually i've tested this many times and it's had a lot of trouble actually integrating that okay so the, the click happened on music. So it was trying to click into the Amazon window. I mean, into the search window. Okay, but this is the first time. I've tested this a dozen times and it was unable to click in there. Let's see if it'll actually do this now. This would be really funny. Okay, so it didn't, it didn't do it right. Um, so what's happening is the reason it scrolled down was because it clicked in the wrong place and when it went to type, there's a space bar which push, pushes it down. Let's, let's go ahead and let it continue. <clears throat> and we'll re-roll this here in a second. But it is incorrectly identifying the... Let's, let's just end it. <clears throat> and we'll run again. It's incorrectly identifying where to click. That was actually the best it had performed. <clears throat> um, let's go up here and we will... Copy that. And we'll run it again. Okay, so it immediately comes up with this. Let's see if it can go through here. So it clicks in the wrong place. It's unable to type. So I'm gonna just do this for it. JCH and and X. Oh, there we go. It's clicking. Let's just continue. I think I screwed it up by me fixing it. Most likely because of navigation. Okay, continue with task. Let's just do yes. Let's see if we it can actually click into the search bar. Usually what it does is it clicks below the search bar and then it starts to type. Yeah. So it clicked on new releases. So if we scroll up, you can see it actually clicked. If we go back, uh, it clicked right here. 
so it's having trouble clicking in 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 the right in the right one okay now let's try something a little bit different um, maybe we have it do like a Google search and again mixed mixed results for this um, find a find it so this one's a little bit more open-ended I didn't tell it where to Okay, I didn't record it, but basically um, I had it look for the latest, find an interesting article about AI news, and it kept, it went to Google, it defaults to Google if I hit enter, and it kept trying to click on the, the input bar, and it was missing in different places repeatedly. Let's, let's just try that exact thing again, and see if we can, uh, see if we can get to actually click on the search bar. Usually, actually, Google does like a robot check, so I'm kind of, I'm, it's kind of good that it didn't do that. Because I think it knows we're using like an automated browser. See, it was actually defaulted to in the search bar. It's supposed to do a red where it clicks, but it doesn't always seem to to show to show that. There we go. You see, it missed its click, getting model response. Come on, baby. Oh, that's closer. That's about as close as it's gotten. Um, let's have, oh, I had it end it. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's see if we can get this thing to actually just do the first most basic task. So, uh, oh, oh, and actually, oh, did it barely miss it? I think it barely missed it. So the way that when we were trying to build this internally, and I don't think we're the only people that thought of this, you, you can kind of draw a grid on the screenshot in the background. And so I can kind of look at the grid and go, okay, we want to click here. And it's apparently, for however they're doing that, it is not finding the right coordinates to click on. This is not promising at all because the web browser should be the easiest thing to, to automate. It's a very well, oh, it actually, did it click in there? No, it's still not, it's still not able to click in there. This most basic, basic task. Uh, it's very common. That's why on that first one where it clicked, actually clicked in the search bar, I think it did it accidentally and it was trying to do something else. That was very surprising because that's the first time it's done that. You can see it keeps retrying and the red circle is, I've, I've added that to the code to where it, it highlights where it's trying to click. So still, still not working. Okay, we're gonna try this right here. Go to fark.com and click on the story above the fold that has the most comments. A little, this one's pretty challenging so I would be really surprised if it gets it, but let's see what happens. So it should click on the good luck. Uh, well, now it's been blocked. Let's see what happens. Where is it going to click? Or maybe we could just have it click on the the top story. I think it's waiting for it to load. If we look at here, stop the loading. Yeah, so it was waiting for it to load. Let's let's try something else. Go to ESPN.com slash MBA and click on the top headline and we'll have it navigate directly there and we'll see if it can do that. So it should click on this Thunder Clinch playoff spot. I doubt it'll be able to do it. What's it doing? Nope, it clicked on the wrong thing. Let's see what it does. It maybe will click on this projecting picks one through fifty nine. You've successfully navigated. Okay, that was not correct. Okay, go to BBC World News. Click on the and click on the first story. We're doing really super simple tasks here. Let's see if it can navigate through this X here. So it has to actually close this. And also note that navigating or automating the browser is the simplest thing. So part of this actually depends on wait, keyboard press F5. It's trying to refresh. Oh, that's super weird. It seems the prompt is still there. Let me know if there's anything else. Let's, let's try to have it just continue. 
part of this has to do with um, our ability to take those instructions and execute on them. Although it does seem like their instructions are very poor. So the, the, the instructions are not coming through well, that's for sure. Uh, but there is another part of this that even if those were coming through perfectly, then there's a variety of ways to execute on this. So we're gonna go ahead and end this. And we're gonna go back to here where they, they did have achieving a 38.1% success for full compute tasks. I am extremely skeptical of that. This was a disaster. The, it, its ability to just click on something with any reliability is extremely low. And that's within the browser. That's very simple, very well documented, you know, patterns. So it's not like I'm asking it to do crazy things. This wasn't even like a multi-step process. If I asked it to do something like go to amazon.com, find the top five um, monitors, uh, document those monitors, read the, the reviews, identify which one has the best reviews, add that to cart and buy it or something like that. My, my prediction that it would work, it, it, like I would bet 99.99% ch chance that it would work. It would not work. Uh, and that's because it seems like it ha at every step it has a very high chance of failure. And I don't believe this 38.1%. Uh, maybe there's something else that they're doing uh, that, that, that I'm missing here. It, and so I am incredibly unimpressed. In fact, pretty disappointed in this. They're behind the eight ball uh, from Anthropic. So Anthropic's model that was released about four months ago was better then than this is now already. That one worked pretty well. Uh, it, it wasn't super consistent, but it was much, much better than this. And to be honest, I'm kind of embarrassed for them that they even released this. Uh, when I was trying to build this myself, just, just me by myself, I think I was able to get a better success rate than this um, in, in finding, identifying what needed to be done and actually executing on it. And so this is like wildly, wildly disappointing if, if I were you. And I, I may, maybe they'll improve it significantly from here. I'm sure they'll try because this does seem like a, a pretty critical thing that they don't want to get too far behind on, but they are way behind in the eight ball on this. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. Have you tested this as well? Go in and see if you can figure it out and maybe there's a, a